Hey there. In previous videos, I've shown you how I run NMAP scans and also how I use uh, Nikto for vulnerability discovery. Now, if you haven't seen those videos yet, make sure you do because uh, they are important in your penetration testing practice. Now, today I'm going to show you how I use GoBuster for web directory discovery. So, before we start, if you aren't following me here, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon because you're going to see a lot of cybersecurity and penetration testing videos coming up from me. Uh, second, if you own a website or a server and you need a security check, uh, please see the link in the description uh, to request a penetration test from me. Uh, third, if you wish to become a penetration tester yourself, you can get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Um, and there's also a link in the description for that. Um, if you're a business owner and want to better secure your internet assets, check the consultation link in the description. And uh, fellas, please tell me in the comments below uh, what kind of penetration testing videos you prefer. Do you like these ones where um, I focus on a single tool or you enjoy more those where um, I walk through machines uh, like those from Hack the Box, Bonehub, TryHack Me, Wizard Labs and other platforms? Uh, comment below. Alright, now go Buster. So let's go and actually bust some web directories. Um, First, I want to specify that I often use GoBuster and Derb in conjunction. So I would start with a simple Derb and if it doesn't uh, tell me anything interesting, I would follow up with a GoBuster scan. And the most basic Derb uh, command uh, would be Derb and the website. And this will uh, brute force for web folders only so it will only look for directories using the default word list which is uh, located in uh, the derb um, folder in Kali Linux and this is actually a 4600 word word list uh, you can also check all the commands derb can do uh, by running uh, derb in your terminal okay uh, now, if Derp doesn't tell me anything, I would start with GoBuster and use a slightly larger word list. Uh, so I would use the big.txt in the Derp directory. Uh, and this is actually a 20k word word list. Um, Alright, so all good and simple so far. But uh, there are often times when these scans lead nowhere. So what I would do then... Uh, well, one of the things I would do is to try larger word lists, such as those located in the Derp Buster folder on Kali, and um, directory lists small and medium are about like 80k uh, and uh, 220k respectively. Um, in some circumstances, you could go for a directory list big, which is about 1.2 million words. But to be honest, uh, I don't recall ever using it. So if you need this word list, the directory list big, uh, find the link in the description of this video to download it. Okay, so bigger is not always better. Uh, what I would also do if I don't get much information with larger word lists is I would look for extensions as well. So uh, by default, GoBuster as well as Derb only look for folders with the default scan, but you can tell it to look for uh, specific files for specific file extensions as well. And uh, you specify the extension for GoBuster with the minus X parameter, like for example, text files minus X TXT. Now, if you want to look for multiple extensions, you can do so by uh, comma separating the extensions. So minus x, txt, comma, php, comma, js, whatever. Oftentimes, uh, this is uh, what starts getting me a lot of results. Okay, now, 
some other parameters that are worth men mentioning, uh, which uh, I often use. Um, one would be to only look for specific status codes and ignore everything else. So I would look for status codes such as 200, 304 and others. And um, another uh, parameter uh, would be to make it less noisy by manipulating the number of concurrent threads and that's the minus uh, T parameter. So you would specify GoBuster, the website, the word list, minus T three or four or five. I believe uh, the default minus T, uh, if you don't specify it as 10. Uh, okay, now another very useful is a uh, very useful parameter would be to run uh, or a very useful type of scan would be to run the active scan through a proxy and you specify the proxy with the minus P parameter. So it would be GoBuster, the website, the word list, minus P, the proxy, uh, the proxy IP and the proxy port. And this is actually very useful if you need to be less exposed. So um, yeah. Uh, another thing would be to skip SSL certificate verification uh, with the minus K parameter. So you simply say GoBuster minus U the website minus W the word list and minus K. Um, also, you can increase um, you can increase the verbosity uh, of the scan. Uh, which is especially useful when you get a lot of errors by specifying the minus V parameter and you simply say minus V. Um, and of course, um, you can get the full list of commands that GoBuster can run by typing GoBuster minus minus help. But these are the few, these are a few types of scans and parameters that I actually uh, happen to use a lot in, in my scans. Uh, if for some reason or another GoBuster is not installed on your system, uh, you can go to their official, uh, their, their official repo and you'll find the link in the description for that. And uh, to actually install it, just follow the links over there, which are like really easy to follow. All right, fellas, so once again, these are some of the most common ways in which I use GoBuster for penetration testing. Again, don't forget to check the links in the description for penetration testing services, for one-on-one -on -one coaching, and for cybersecurity consulting. And finally, you do me a big favor for sharing this video so that it can actually reach a broader audience uh, and so that the YouTube algorithm would actually like me more. Uh, also, comment below which one would you uh, prefer or do you happen to use more and why? Is it Derb or GoBuster? Or tell me uh, if you're using something else. That being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.